everyone, it's Missy, and it's seven weeks before the average date of last frost in my region anyways, and it's telling us to grow, build and grow vegetables, uh, or the raised beds for the vegetables, uh, you know, and so forth, and I can't get outside. I have snow all over the place, but it does say we can sow seed um, in containers for carrots, beets, leaf lettuce, spinach, and green beans if we can't get out into our garden. Now, uh, the leaf lettuce, the spinach, and so forth, I'm planning on transplanting that into my garden as soon as it becomes workable. But carrots, I'm not so much. Um, usually I start everything in my arrow garden, but I think my carrots are going to have to be put in a container. So, that's what we're going to do today. So I have a container here. It's 18 inches high, and it gives me about a square foot of gardening space. Now, if you've done square foot gardening before, you will know that you can fit 12 carrots in one square foot. So what I did is I just created my potting soil mix. It's just a standard potting soil mix that you can use um, for any vegetable garden plantings, as well as flower garden for that matter. And you can Google that and find a mix that's suitable for your area. And all I'm going to do is take and make 12 um, little divots in the soil. And uh, let's see here, I'm going to do two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. There we go. So I kind of try to evenly space them around, giving them enough room. And then for the carrot seed, I picked up. Uh, Scarlet Nanties. Now, the package says 99 cents. I was able to find these at my local dollar store. They were four for a dollar, so 25 cents. And all I'm going to do is drop a few seeds into each one of those divots. Now, hopefully I didn't get the divots too uh, deep there, because I think this only needs a quarter inch sewing depth. So, probably going to just take them put a couple seeds in all right there we go and then all I have to do is take and just carefully close them up Just move the soil around. All right, because I don't want to disturb the soil too much after that for watering purposes, I do have a spray bottle, and this is just um, drinking water, just to water the plants. So I'm gonna spray or mist this. There we go, until the soil is completely damp, and that's all there is to getting a potted patio garden. Started. You can do this too if you have an apartment and you don't have a garden to actually plant in. And you can do the same thing I said with leaf lettuce, beets, spinach. You won't need a, as deep of a container as carrots. So go wild and let me know if you guys have any questions. Oh, and before you put this away for the night, make sure to put saran wrap over the top to kind of give it the greenhouse effect so the topsoil doesn't dry out so fast. You don't have to water continuously. If you have any questions, let me know. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye.